Hello friends, welcome to my channel Technical Arquen, myself Arnab Kundu. Today I will discuss another Python problem and the problem is that to take a number as input and convert that number into binary number system means into binary. Okay, suppose we take a number like 25 which is in decimal and it will convert in binary number system and whatever the result it should show in the console and also in the same problem again I will convert this binary number into decimal number okay so today this problem I will solve within the Python ID PyCharm okay so go to the computer screen I will discuss today's problem step by step elaborately okay Hello friends, I'm just within the PyCharm ID and here I'm just writing the code for today's problem. And today's problem is that to take a number as input and I just convert it into binary. How to convert a decimal number to a binary number? So just we write the logic here. And also the same problem will convert again from binary to decimal. Okay. So I already create the file and put the name this Python file ex2.py. So at first we write import math means here we import the math module okay and and we write this code within a particular function so just write the function name def d underscore 2 underscore b and parenthesis open close then put a colon okay and here we write the logic for decimal to binary conversion and also the same function we do the reverse conversion means from binary to decimal okay and at first we take a list and take an empty list just write l equal square bracket open close okay and then we just write here a logic and also what happened for this function is concerned the function should contain a parameter and put the parameter is n here because the number is actually n okay so just write here in while n not equal to 0 okay and put a colon here and just write the logic for the while means the statements for the while so just write here l dot append and just write here int percent 2 actually we already know how to convert a number which is a decimal into a binary if the number is pure then we divide the number by 2 and we get the remainder in that way it's going on and lastly we get the quotient and also we take the number for binary conversion is concerned from bottom to top okay so that's why we need to find the remainder in percent 2 because this percent is a remainder operator or modulus which find out the remainder okay so just write in percent 2 and then we just write here n equal n float division operator 2 okay so in that way the loop is going on and we get all the remainder on that part also we get the last question also and then what happen we just write here l dot reverse method why because we already told because in conversion from decimal to binary we get the digits 1 and 0 from bottom to top so that's why we need to reverse the list elements okay and after what we use a for loop to find out this binary conversions digits which is consist of 0 and 1 so just write for i in range and just write here 0 comma len and send the argument is l means we find out the length of the list okay and then just print here print l within square bracket i and then just write n equal double quote open close so that's why the number will be printed one after another okay and this is the part we convert the decimal number into binary okay now what happened we need to convert the number which is in binary into a decimal okay so then we just write here n equal to 0 and then we just take another variable l1 
we just store whatever the length of the list minus 1 should store the result within the variable l1 okay and then we just write here again for loop for i in range and send the argument 0 and just write len and just write l same way okay and what the statements just write n equal n plus and when we convert any binary to decimal what we do we do just from right to left multiplied each and every digits by power of 2 starting from 0 from right to left okay so that's why just write n equal to n plus and just write l within square bracket i asterisk and we just convert into integer that's why just write int and within parenthesis just write math dot power because find out the power 2 comma l1 okay and this will be the calculate whatever the binary number is there when we convert into decimal the result should be stored within the n okay and then we just write here l1 minus equal 1 so here we just using the assignment operator l1 minus equal 1 means l1 equal l1 minus 1 okay so after complete the for loop and then just write here print and just write here a new line at first okay and also here after l dot reverse here we just print some interactive way just write here convert decimal to binary okay this line should print okay and same way after the new line now we convert this binary number into decimal so just write here print within double quote convert binary to decimal okay now after that we just print the result of the conversion of from binary to decimal so just write print and just write here in which contain the result in decimal okay and now this is the end of the function statement and the function name is d underscore 2 underscore b now here we take the input within the variable n so just write n equal int and just write input and just write again within the parentheses enter a number put a colon and put a space now we call our function d underscore 2 underscore b and send the argument n which is taken as an input as a number so this is the program through which at first we take the input within the variable n which is a decimal number and send the argument within the function d underscore 2 underscore b which convert the decimal number into binary and print the number and again whatever the binary number again it convert into decimal okay so we already write the code and save within the file ex2.py so just go to the run button and choose run ex2 enter a number suppose we write the number as input 5 press enter convert decimal to binary 101 yes okay and again convert binary to decimal this 5 will again return from there okay so again if we run this code and suppose we put the number as input suppose 100 and press enter same way the convert of decimal to binary is this and again if we convert binary to decimal it will be 100 right I hope you have understood today's problem. Today's problem is very simple. We take a number as input which is in decimal number and convert into binary number and again we convert this binary number into a decimal number. Okay. If you like this video please like it, share it. If still you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe it and keep watching my channel Technical Arquin. Today up to this. Thank you and bye bye. Thank you.